In this video, we'll look at how to add um, standalone tables that have XY data or XY coordinates or latitude and longitude in the file um, to ArcGIS Pro. Here we can see a map of San Diego County. We also have our standalone table, which is oddly named, but it is downloaded from iNaturalist, and it is a recording of sightings of uh, different types of fence lizards from um, iNaturalist. So this is um, people-generated data uh, or user-generated data of different fence lizards for a time period, which I don't remember. It looks like 2007 to current, maybe? Anyway, it has a weird name because this is coming off of an XLS Excel file, so that's why you're seeing the name of the um, tab in the Excel file. There are a few ways to convert this to points where we can display on our map where these fence lizard sightings are. So we can search for the tool you'll use in your book, XY table to point, and click on that. We'll use this as our input table. We'll rename, first of all, where I'm saving it. Rename it Nope, that's not where we want it to go. Um, and it's automatically populating longitude and latitude for us. Um, you can see from the help it's going to tell you where the latitude and longitude should go. If we put these in and it's wrong, we can always do it again and change it. I'm going to change the coordinate system to the one of the San Diego County map so they match. Um, you could, since this data is collected via, you know, usually cell phones or GPS, um, that is generally going to be recorded in um, WGS 1983. Um, but since we have the county map there, it can convert to our county map and it'll work well for us. So then we just click Run and see if it puts our points where we're expecting them to be. So we can see we're getting um, our points. Pencils are showing up in blue. We are seeing some that are off the coast, but with any um, publicly created data, there tends to be uh, some issues with it. Um, so you can see this one, it's like it's on my patio and you can look at a picture of it. And it's clearly not in the middle of the ocean, um, but it just got recorded in the wrong space. So this is something you could go fix later, but overall things look like where they should be. So that's one way. The other thing you can do is you can right click on it, display XY data. This will create a um, temporary layer. Actually, it's not creating a temporary layer because we're adding it right to our geodatabase. Check on latitude and longitude. We can change that coordinate system again to the county. Go ahead and click OK and let that run. And we can see if we turn off our original one, it's displaying where it should be as we expected in the county with those couple of issues. Those are the two ways you can add XY data to your map.